or before I before I say anything, like just like read read what the fuck this woman had to say on her Twitter do, account. Do, I'm not. Do I do I got to, okay? Candace yes. Owens, uh, um, <laughs> friend to black people all everywhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> said gangster rap was never black culture. It was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison and then turned them into artificial celebrities. The goal was to create false idols to destroy black American values. I will never change my mind on this. Then you're stupid. <laughs> now, wait, Monty, I haven't even asked the fair file question yet. But, well, well before you do, I just want to say. Okay. A, a motherfucker that will... In the statement with, I will never change my mind on this, uh -huh. is a motherfucker you should never try to have a conversation with. Because oh, they yeah. are for stupid. Sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yes. Right. It's like, it's so, it's like blurtish in the chat says, oh, so now she cares about black people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like if, if I told you bologna is basically salami without uh -huh. peppercorns in it, I will never change my mind on this. Yeah, it, uh, it's it like 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 if you present me with facts, if you prov pro provide me with new information, I will absolutely change my mind on some shit. Yes. Matter of fact, how many times on this show have we done fair files, right? Where I had an opinion, and then the chat provided me with new information, and I'm yeah. like, you know what? You guys making a great point. I've changed my mind. I've changed yeah. my position. Yeah. Any motherfucker that will just. Drop that statement, yeah. And then don't talk to him. It, it ain't worth it. Yeah, I, I just like this woman is just. I wish Candace Owens and Azalea Banks could just, <laughs> just get into Mortal Kombat with one another. Only one yes. survive. Like you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like two two women into one woman leaves. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, listen, wh whoever whoever wins gets to live on Mars. <laughs> and whoever loses gets to live on Mars. <laughs> Just go live on Mars, both of y'all, please. Yeah. All right, what the, why? Why? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to ask a fair file question, and we can discuss this some more. Um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and ask Look, a fair no, file question. No, Candace Owens said that uh, gangster rap was never black culture because it was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison, then turned them into artificial celebrities with the goal to create false idols to destroy black American values. So my fair file question is, is it fair file to say that gangster rap was never black culture because it was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison, then turned them into artificial celebrities with the goal to create false idols to destroy black American values? <laughs> that, that's the question. Everybody in the chat, let us know what you think. Is it, is, it, is it fair file to say that gangster rap was never black culture because it was created by the feds, etc.? All that stuff that I'm not reading the third time. <laughs> Monty, everybody in chat, let us know what you think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll, I'll just say it's foul to say that. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> listen, listen, Monty. She might, Candace Owens might be the right type of black girl for you to, to mess with for the first time. You, you, you want me to end this shit right now? <laughs> you want me to end this shit right now? <laughs> Listen, I'm just I'm just saying that uh, it was like what what if you could tame the tide, okay? I I can't and I'm not I wouldn't even want to try. You might you might be able to, man. You might you you just might be able to. You might be the guy that could change her mind. No, no, my my line is anybody I talk to is stupid. I don't I don't deal with stupid. <laughs> How, how many people have you known in your lifetime to be like, hey, man, you know who you need to check out? This girl is making some good points. And then they present you with Candace Owens. Too many. And I don't talk to those people much. Mm, yeah. Okay. That's my line. Not not just romantically. Like, just people in general. Yeah. That's my line. I, I, Stupid. I, one, man, one of my favorite bartenders, one of my favorite, the one of the bartenders that worked for me at, at Phillips Arena here in Atlanta, um, one of my absolute favorite bartenders, I won't say her name, but because I know some people are, uh, from the, 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 the arena still uh, is watching the show. 
and I don't want to put her on blast, but it hurt my heart to see her online sharing Candace Owens stuff. Like, yeah, she be making good points. No, the fuck she doesn't. No. no she, <laughs> she does not. Yeah, this point especially. Uh, un- unless you can give me a reason why, not, don't not end it I'll never change my mind on this. I'm not curious to reason. hear your reason. You got to give me proof at this point. Like, yes. she said that uh, gangster rap was never black culture because it was created by the feds. Now, the reason we can we can go to we can get to the reason and she said that the feds yeah, created yeah, this. That first point, second. yeah. But let's start there. She yeah. said the feds, the federal, the FBI created gangster rap. Yeah. The, How? The FBI created gangster rap. How, Sway? Just I, I would love more info. Just tell me, give me any proof of that. Just any proof. Yeah, yeah. Right? Just like one piece of proof would be, yeah, would just be enough. FBI but it's got to be real proof. A, something, right? The the only thing I've ever heard was there's an interview with like Lazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony talking about uh, being in a secret meeting where he was told that gangster rap was being pushed to destroy the African-American community. I'm like, really? So they didn't feel like crack cocaine was doing a good enough job? <laughs> <laughs> they was like, damn, y'all done took all the black fa- y'all, y'all done took damn near all the black fathers out the homes and then put crack cocaine in our community and shit like that. And you want to turn around and be like, like, understand, y'all, there are no poppy fields in the hood. Okay? Yeah. There's no coca leaves in the hood. And while we at it, there's no Smith and Wesson factories. Okay? <laughs> like all of this shit is getting brought to our community. Okay? It's getting it's getting brought there, it's getting left there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, it, yeah it's yeah. Like, to say like, something like, like right that, there. Like you 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 made the right point. Start at the fucking premise of the whole thing. Like Gangster rap was never black culture. That's that's where you start. How? Yeah. How? As far as I know, it always was. Yeah, I'm like, so so you telling me some white folks created a uh, 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 gangster rap? Like, first off, where's these hard ass white niggas? I need to yeah. know where they at. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're the ones that were putting the crack and the guns in the neighborhood, so they were hard as fuck. Yeah, I, I I need to know who those guys are. Like, listen, I'm not I'm not even. Just, I just want to hear more information. So let's start there. I think that statement is absurd in and of itself. And then she says it was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison. What? Yeah. Well, I I don't. So the 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 FBI was paying gay black men in prison. To do gangster rap? What? What is? Wait. Okay. Put it. Put Zoe. Put the tweet back up. Okay. Hold on one time. I'm trying to. Gangster rap was never black culture. It was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison and then turned them into artificial celebrities. Okay. So they took gay black men in prison and then told them, "I want you to go be a gangster rapper." Hey, Ice Cube. I, I know yeah. that you are a gay man in jail, so I want you to be a gangster rapper. Hey, Snoop Dogg, I know you are a gay rapper, so I want—I mean, I know you are a gay man, and I want you to be a gangster rapper. Spoiler alert: Snoop Dogg ain't never been to prison. Yeah, okay? and look, real quick, real quick. Um, I saw Straight Outta Compton, and I knew the story before I saw it, but I don't remember them being in jail and the feds coming to visit them. And yeah, you know, the story I knew. Or in the movie. It's just, it's such a weird, like, it's it's such a weird, dumb lie. Like, it's just, it like, like, I don't know who this lie is for. But then I'm saying that it's for her core audience. Her core yeah. audience is white men that want to hear a black woman tell them all of the things that's wrong with the African-American community that they feel like they can't say because it's racist. So first off, you absolutely can say it on Elon Musk's uh, X, right? You yeah. can absolutely say whatever you want over there. They they ain't censoring shit, okay? So, so like saying that they won't let me say this, who is they? Let's start there. They, they, you can absolutely say it. Whether you should say it is a whole different conversation, but yeah. they absolutely will let you say it. Yeah. Um, I, it's it's just a weird. It's 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I guess because her audience wants to hear this from her, they just like, yeah, like, yeah. just say something bad about Like, I, I'm going to tell you what I think it is, right? And you tell me if, if you think I'm wrong, Monty. If you think, oh, you t- tell me if I'm barking up the right tree. I think that in this culture of toxic cliques, right, of, of toxic virility, there are content creators, and I think about Aiden Ross, I think about uh, uh, Matt Walsh, I think about Steven Crowder sometimes. I think about uh, Nick Fuentes. Like, these are people that purposefully say the wild... Charleston White, another great example, yeah. will purposefully say the wildest, craziest shit he can think of because he knows it's going to get him views. Boosie Badass does yeah. the same shit. He yeah. purposefully says shit that is wild and off the cuff because he gets paid for it. Because whether you like what he says or dislike what he says or if you like what she says or you dislike what she says it doesn't matter it's all engagement as far as the algorithm is concerned so yeah. whether you're online disagreeing with somebody in her comment section or one of your dumbass uncles or aunts post that shit on their facebook page right all of that's still engagement and she's yeah. still getting paid yeah. she gets paid the more people react to her shit the most i recently saw a couple days ago she said something about beyonce mama yeah yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I'm like, why would you say something about Beyonce's mama, right? You saying that because you want to piss off Beyonce's massive fan base. Yes, you know. So yes. I was like, well, if you get them pissed off, you get them riled up enough, then they're gonna come after you, right? Yeah. And that's like they learn to when ignore. You, when we though. live in a time where you get paid for saying toxic shit, it doesn't have to be right; it just has to be engaging. Yeah, people look, look, check it out. I got it one makes for them you. Enough. So, pop music was never popular music. Mm-hmm. It was created so that White Housewives, the CIA looked at it and said, you know what, I'm going to take this and create a genre of music to keep them comfortable and calm at home uh-huh. so that all they're thinking about is love. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Listen, they, 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 they listen. Same the shit. I got, the, the, there's no facts to back that shit up. I just the, said the, that the, shit. Listen, the Department of Homeland Security and NSA created country western music so that poor white people wouldn't know that they're as poor as poor black people <laughs> yeah you know how how, how yeah. is the dumbass thing that i just said any more far-fetched than what candace owens said yeah watch this hannibal what facts do you have to back that up uh, 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 i i have a twitter account is what i have to back that up See? And, the- and, and hey, listen, and you will not change my mind on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I recently was reminded of this fact when, when, da- when Ace Wonder and I were in college. Uh, Ace Wonder was dating this dumbass girl. Um, I'm not going to say her name. But she was dumb. <laughs> she, was, she was very pretty, but she was not smart, right? And yeah. we were sitting around. We were at dinner one night. And I remember for no reason this girl said, you know what my favorite planet is? The moon. Oh, my God. Right. And it was like everybody was shocked, right? First off, because we wasn't having no kind of uh, conversation about astronomy, right? It was just like, I don't know what we was talking about. And then she just came out and was just like, my favorite planet is the moon. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And then we was like, so we spent the rest of the night trying to convince her trying to explain to her that the moon is not a planet, right? First off, bitch, what is you, 12? Why you got favorite planets, okay? <laughs> you, you, you are not 12, and you are not an astronomer. Why you got a favorite planet? Second of all, the moon is <laughs> And she really said that shit, yes. That's crazy, That's- yeah, but but you uh, know, in all, in, in, in all also, seriousness, I should point out that was the last time that, uh, uh, Ace Wonder went out on a date with that girl. That was yeah. that was that was their last date. Yeah. <laughs> she said that shit. Yeah, say something intelligent. Like like, look, here's an example. Hannibal, my favorite dinosaur is now and has always been the giraffe. I I think I hey man, you are not gonna change my mind on this one, okay? <laughs> you will you will never change my mind on this one. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Candace Owens with her big brain. Yeah. 
all that stumping she did for Trump. That man didn't give you no cabinet position. Matter yep. of fact, Zoe, drop one of the clues down. Drop one of the clues down for President Elect Donald Trump because he had Ben Simmons. I mean, he had a a a a a a a a a a a uh, 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 Byron Donalds and Candace Owens out there stumping for him and did not give them cabinet positions. Yep. His cabinet, his cabinet is just like the house he's living in right now. Yep. Right. Because that bitch <laughs> is stupid. Candace, shut your fucking mouth. You're making black women look bad. Stop. Uh, I, I, I think Dave Chappelle said it best uh, in his George Floyd uh, 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 mini Netflix special. I can't think of a worse way to make a living. Been doing yeah. her job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that, that, that's it. I can't think of a worse a worse way to make a living than how she makes it. Than how she makes money. Yeah. Y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.